This is David Bowie's hit song Space Oddity. It's a song about an astronaut known as Major Tom launching into space. Chances are that you've heard it before, or at least heard of it. Or perhaps you've seen this. This is ground control to Major Tom. 44 years after the song's original release, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield paid tribute to Bowie and the song on the International Space Station in 2013. But aside from being hugely popular and the tune for the first music video in space, what can really be said about its main character? In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at what role Major Tom played in Bowie's career. Let's get into it. It's 1969 and there's a greater interest in spaceflight than ever before. It's the year Apollo 11 would launch off on a mission to land on the moon. And five days before the launch, David Bowie released Space Oddity. Perhaps at perfect timing. Inspired by Stanley Kubrick's movie from the previous year, 2001, A Space Odyssey, Bowie sang about Major Tom's departure from Earth and into space. The whole song builds around the lyrics of the back and forth communication between him and ground control. Suddenly something goes wrong, their communication breaks, and ground control tries to resume contact but to no success. The song ultimately ends with Tom calmly accepting his fate as he floats past the moon, further away from Earth and into the vast universe. What happens to Major Tom after that is something that we can't really be sure about. However, this isn't the only song that Major Tom appears on. In 1980, Bowie released Ashes to Ashes, the lead single off of the album Scary Monsters and Super Creeps. Tom plays a central part of the lyrics, even though the song itself isn't necessarily about him. Ashes to Ashes is really a song about Bowie's struggle with drug addiction. Just for some context, this song and the Scary Monsters album came out right after three albums that would become to be known as the Berlin Trilogy. He moved from LA to West Berlin in hopes to escape being burnt out from drugs and fame. He had enough of that lifestyle, and on Ashes he taps into that mindset. He sings about not having any money and hoping to kick the habit. Telling himself that he'll stay clean every night, but failing, and wanting to come down. So while the song is mainly about Bowie's struggles, he uses Tom as a way to express himself. Comparing the drug addicted artist to the astronaut stuck in space, both wanting to come down. It was an awful, dreadful period for me. I mean, the only escape for me in the end was just to just to get up and clean clean myself out, you know, and just, just finish my association with cocaine, which had become such a problem that I just, I couldn't function on in any other way from day to day. I couldn't, I wasn't eating, I couldn't eat anything. My, I mean, if you've seen photographs of me in that period, I mean, I weighed, I don't know, 90, 95 pounds or something. It was just dreadful. I'm absolutely amazed that I actually survived that period. A lot of people speculate that the lyrics of Space Oddity is a metaphor for drug use, perhaps even an overdose, which in that case would align the two songs to the same theme. And with that in mind, as well as how important Major Tom was in launching him to stardom, doesn't it make sense that a 33-year-old Bowie brought back Major Tom, a character that defined his 20s and drug use, when he needed to say goodbye to that part of his life? By the time the song ends, 
Bowie has reduced Major Tom, the brave adventurous hero from Space Oddity, to nothing but a junkie and a person to stay away from. The first chapter of Bowie's career started with Major Tom, and it ended with him. Fifteen years later, Tom is briefly referenced in the Pet Shop Boys' remix of Bowie's song Hello Space Boy, and we can only assume that the astronaut in the music video for Slow Burn is him, but other than that, he disappeared. At least until the very end. David Bowie's 25th album was released on January 8th of 2016. The name of it is Black Star, and he called it his parting gift for his fans, as he would pass away only two days later. Longtime friend and producer Tony Visconti worked with Bowie on the album to produce what he felt was a carefully orchestrated farewell. But what about Major Tom? Well, he isn't mentioned or referenced in the lyrics of the album, but he does make an appearance in the music video of the title track, or at least we can assume it's him. In the video, a woman with a tail, perhaps an alien, discovers a dead astronaut. Only his bones remain, but his skull is encrusted with jewels. The woman takes the skull, and we see the bones float away into space, and the skull being worshipped. Now what all this means, I don't know. But what's clear is that Bowie's and Major Tom's story ends together. The astronaut has become such an icon for Bowie's music, and perhaps he felt he needed to include him somehow, if not for himself, maybe for his fans. Major Tom, like all characters that Bowie created over the years, lives on through the music, floating around the wavelengths from speakers and headphones all around the world, and in space. He was so, I think, pleased, but also really proud that something he'd written when he was 19 or 20, uh, just in the last year of his life, to see um, to see it played in a place he'd always dreamed of going, and and the beauty of it was he got it right. The feel was right. It helped it helped explain it to a lot of people that otherwise would never get a feel for what being weightless on a spaceship is truly truly like. Thank you for watching.